Before we talk about Mr. Game & Watch, before we talk about Meister, before we even talk about up specials out of Shields, let's talk about Gunpei Yokoi, the godfather of handheld gaming. Yokoi is a big part of why the Game Boy got made, why every controller has a D-pad, why your calculator has games in it, and why Meister has a main. Nintendo is the oldest company in gaming, founded in 1881. The card and toy manufacturer didn't hit it big in electronics until Gunpei Yokoi came up with a game and watch. Yokoi was on a train in Tokyo when he saw a businessman who was so bored that he was playing with a calculator. Yokoi wanted to make a fun, small game that adults could inconspicuously play on their way to work. So, he made Game & Watch, a series of small, sleek, 80s stylish handhelds that had three or so simple mini-games on them and doubled as a digital alarm clock. All of the characters' moves were taken from one of many Game & Watch's mini-games. If you're ever wondering why Mr. Game & Watch made it into Smash, it's because the Game & Watch was historic for Nintendo. Not only was it a huge success that led to the Game Boy, it was also the first system to use and popularize the D-pad. Wow, that little 2D dude was more important than you thought, right? But you guys probably don't want a history lesson on Game & Watch, you want a gameplay lesson. Don't worry, we got you guys covered, and so does ProGuides.com. You can find even more awesome videos and resources like this one on our site, ranging from pro courses to coaching sessions, to the character videos we're adding all the time. Also, if you're a fan of MKLeo, Esam, or Zero, we got courses with them on Pro Guides. They are awesome. Go check them out. All right, now let's get back into the video. The Game & Watch might be a distant memory in the gaming world, but in the Smash world, Mr. Game & Watch is more relevant than ever. Ultimate might have the strongest version of the character we've ever seen. Game & Watch is a great character for anyone who wants to keep opponents on their toes, or who just simply like RNG. Gaming's foxiest grandpa is finally quick enough to keep up with the youngins and now has some of the hardest punishes, the strongest defenses, and the weirdest hitboxes in the cast. This 2D gentleman fits anyone looking for a super unique character that totally confounds opponents. In this video, we're going to cover the basics and the style of the character by focusing on three of his core strengths. Incredible defense, great offense, and an unorthodox style. Okay, let's start about with his defense. So, you can't talk Game & Watch without talking about how good his defense is. And you can't talk defense without talking about up special out of shield. In Ultimate, every character can cast an up special without actually dropping shield. For some characters, like Mr. Game & Watch, this is a huge defensive tool. Game & Watch's up special is so good because it's fast, has a big hitbox, can combo, and it's super hard to punish because Game & Watch can act quickly out of it. Simply put, it's one of the best defensive options in the game. If someone even looks at your shield the wrong way when you're playing Mr. Game & Watch, you can hit them with an up special and then follow up with an aerial like neutral air or fast fall and juggle with up airs. At minimum, you knock your opponent away and get out of a bad situation. It's possible to outspace and dodge the up special, but it requires good spacing and good disjoints. But Mr. Game & Watch isn't just a one-note up special type of guy. He also has some of the best defensive aerials in the game as well. His neutral air is another good out-of-shield option that turns an opponent's attack into a combo of your own. Not to mention, it's long-lasting and controls a lot of space, making it hard to box with. His forward air has a weird, delayed hitbox that's very hard to read as well. You can jump into the air and drop forward airs as a way to control a part of the stage. If they try to hit your forward air, they might get stuck in lag that you can punish or accidentally make it explode. Since you can drift backwards after forward airing, you can make this move hard to punish. After you're done making the stage look like a war zone with your forward air, you can land with a down air. Game & Watch's down air isn't like other spikes because you can move during it and you can cancel out of it into other moves at the end of its duration. As Game & Watch, you can use your down air to beat out a juggling option, but you can also use it to go fast and dodge the enemy while getting down. You can even use it as a bait by down airing from up high, then catching an opponent with a different aerial. Well, if you get knocked off stage, don't worry about it. Game & Watch can recover from super low, and his parachute beats most moves. He can even cancel out of it with an air dodge, adding some more mix-up to the game. If recovering low is tough, you can recover high and use the up special's drift and down air to stay evasive. So, whether it's off stage or in shield or in the air, you can't keep a good stick figure down. 
Okay, but Mr. Game wasn't all about defense, he's got some offense too. Once Game & Watch knocks an opponent in the air, off the stage, or into disadvantage, he can do a lot of damage. Game & Watch has most things you need for a good offense, like combo tools, big hitboxes, ledge trapping options, edge guarding options, and potent fast kill moves. Let's talk those kill moves first. Game & Watch has some of the best smash attacks in the game flat out. Well, it's probably because he's a 2D character. But anyways, all of Mr. Game & Watch's smash attacks have good uses. His forward smash is his strongest but riskiest smash attack, something you don't throw out too often. Unlike Game & Watch's down smash, which has such good speed and range that you can use it surprisingly often, this move is huge. It covers both sides, has an aerial hitbox, and buries opponents. At high percents, the down smash leads straight into a forward smash and a kill. If all that wasn't good enough, Game & Watch has an up smash that's insanely fast, safe, and makes him invincible for a few frames. This move is super hard to punish and great to catch an opponent jumping over or landing on top of you. Game & Watch doesn't need smash attacks to kill either. His forward tilt is a great grounded kill option because it has a big, long-lasting hitbox. Plus, you get to hit people with a chair and feel like you're in WWE. It works great for attacking opponents coming to the ledge as well. His back air is his best aerial kill option for all the same reasons as forward air, except this time you get to live out a deranged zookeeper fantasy and hit someone with a turtle. He also has an infamous down throw into side special combo that can get early to mid percent kills if you're lucky enough to draw a 9. This kill setup is super RNG dependent, which makes it unreliable and pretty good for Hearthstone players, but also super tilting if it actually works. There's some risk to it, if the RNG goes too bad and you get a 1, the opponent could even hit you for it. But pushing your advantage isn't just about getting kills. You also want to keep your opponents off the stage by ledge trapping and edge guarding. When it comes to ledge trapping, Game & Watch brings the fire, literally. Game & Watch's neutral special, Chef, is a surprisingly great ledge trapping tool. As a kid, you're probably used to this move to annoy your friends, now you can really annoy your friends with it. To use Chef well, you just have to stand out of get up attack range and hit B while the opponent tries to get off the ledge. Chef can catch them rolling, get up attacking, or standing up. When it hits them, it does a tiny bit of knockback, which gives you a window to run up and land an attack. Eventually, Chef will force your opponents to jump, setting you up to use up special or back air or neutral air to catch them as well. Chef isn't unbeatable, but the timing is tricky to learn and catches lots of opponents off guard. Once an opponent starts to get Chef down, you can mix things up with different moves to call out options, like forward tilt for normal get up, down smash for rolls, or up airs for jumps. Or you can jump around the ledge and rain down hell with your forward air. Your good ledge trapping will make a lot of opponents want to recover high or dodge the ledge, but Game & Watch can cover that too. First, his up air is built for juggling. While it rarely kills, it's a big spammable hitbox that does lots of damage and makes it hard to land. Then, he's got a back air that kills early. If someone recovers super low, you can catch them with a down air too. Defense, offense, Game & Watch has it all. But the best thing about Game & Watch is that he breaks the rules. Game & Watch has a super unorthodox kit that gives him an incredibly confusing, hard to counter style. Also, he's pretty hard to see. To understand this, you have to understand that there are some consistent patterns to smash. For example, most up specials put you in a helpless state where you can't do much. Therefore, whiffing most up specials can get you killed. Most diving down airs go straight down and can't be cancelled, therefore they're risky landing options. Most smash attacks have tons of lag and are very vulnerable, therefore smash attacks are super risky to use. Welcome to Mr. Game & Watch, the character where none of that is true. His up special is super fast, doesn't make him helpless, and is hard to punish. His down air can be aimed and maneuvered, has a huge hitbox, and can be cancelled as well. Another tough move to punish is his up smash and down smash, which are so fast and strong that he can use them in neutral without necessarily getting punished either. I don't know how this guy gets away with this. Game & Watch trips up a ton of players new and old because he breaks all the normal and unwritten rules of Smash character design. Just like the handheld he came from, he's a trailblazer that's doing his own thing.
If you take the time to learn Game & Watch, then you already have a big advantage over your opponent. They think you're both playing Smash Bros, but you know that they're playing Smash while you're playing Game & Watch. In fact, you can actually trick people by just playing your own game. For example, you can charge a down smash in neutral, and if your opponent does a low jump, you can catch it with the wonky hitbox. If they run at you and you think they'll shield, you can release it early and still have time to shield, or throw out a quick hitbox like forward tilt or up special that'll beat their move. All the moves they could use on shield in other matchups, they can't use against you without eating an up special. On top of all that, Game & Watch has really weird hitboxes that take time to learn. If you learn them, you can use them to confuse and panic opponents. Forward air is the best example because it's a bomb that explodes when hitting the ground for a half a second after it releases. It doesn't explode when it touches an aerial opponent, but it has a sour spot hit on startup. It can also be canceled attacks. That's a weird move. Lots of players won't understand how it works and will either underestimate it, getting hit, or overestimate it, and let you spam it without punishing it. All this said, you should know that some matchups will force Game & Watch to play a more standard game. Sorties and characters with very safe moves and disjoints can punish a lot of Game & Watch's moves and space around his out-of-shield options. So, Game & Watch is good all around and fits a lot of styles, but he's best for the person who likes to confuse their opponents and play their own game. True to the spirit of his creator, he'll fit you if you're willing to innovate and play unorthodox, or if you're willing to infuriate your friends. Seriously, this character gets people saltier than thwack. This has been Kristoff. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys are interested in getting better at Smash, then click that description link below and go watch some great content or even get yourself a coach. Thanks for watching and good luck in your next few games.